question number 22 the amount of money contributed by a group of students during a fundraising for a needy student was as shown in the table below we have the table the amount is given in Kenyan shillings and the number of students will be our frequency so we are told on the grid provided we are supposed to draw a no give to represent the data so for us to draw a no give which is a graph of the cumulative frequency against the upper class boundary we have to have the values for the upper class limit and the cumulative frequency so we draw a table where we have the upper class boundary or limit and the cumulative frequency so the first upper class boundary is 400.5 and the frequency is 2 the second one is 500.5 and the cumulative frequency is 2 plus 10 which is 12 the third one is 600.5 and the cumulative frequency is 12 plus 12 which is 24 the next upper class limit is 700.5 and the cumulative frequency is 24 plus 14 which is 38 the next one is 800.5 and the cumulative frequency is 38 plus 7 which is 45 the next one is 900.5 then we have the cumulative frequency is 45 plus 3 which is 48 lastly we have a thousand point five and the cumulative frequency is 48 plus 2 which is 50 so now we are supposed to plot a graph of cumulative frequency against the upper class limit and here we have our graph on the x-axis we'll have the CF or the cumulative frequency and on the x-axis we have the upper class limit we start with a zigzag because we are not starting from zero on the class limit now we plot these values we have 400 0.5 and the cumulative frequency is 2 400 then we go to 2 you have to check the scale my scale is 2 centimeters to represent 10 for cumulative frequency and 2 centimeters to represent 100 for the upper class limit so 2 will be somewhere here then we have 500.5 against 12 and we have 12 here 600.5 against 24 and 24 is somewhere there we have 700.5 against 38 somewhere there 800.5 against 45 and 45 is here 900.5 against 48 
which is here and lastly we have a thousand point five against fifty it's there now we have to join these points with a smooth curve without using a ruler make sure it is as smooth as possible and then extend it to join y is equals to zero on the the class limit 300.5 So that is the all give we've drawn. Now we are told to use the graph to estimate the median and the median will be given by accumulative frequency where we have 25 because the total cumulative frequency is 50. Half of it of 50 is 25. So we are looking at the money contributed by the 25th student so you place your ruler where there is 25 so we have our ruler placed where there is 25 then you draw a line from that point to meet your curve yeah right there when we draw a line to meet our curve it will meet it at that point then we can drop another line from where the line from 25 and the curve meets and if you draw that line It will show you the amount contributed by the 25th student and that amount will be 605.5 so we have 600 and 5.5 is our median Roman 2 you are told to estimate the quartile deviation and the quartile deviation is given by the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile divided by 2 so we are supposed to get the Q3 minus Q1 over 2 where Q3 is the upper quartile and Q1 is the lower quartile and the upper quartile is given as 3 over 4 multiplied by the total frequency which is 50 and this will be equal to 37.5 the lower quartile is 1 over 4 multiplied by 50 which is 12 point five so we are going to check the value which corresponds to 37.5 and the one which corresponds to 12.5 then we get the difference between the two and divide by two so from our graph we go to 37.5 on CF cumulative frequency and that's where we will place our ruler that 
37.5 now we can draw a line to meet our curve line which is from 37.5 on cumulative frequency to meet our curve then we drop a line from that point of intersection and if we drop a line We are getting six hundred and ninety five. So we have thirty seven point five giving us six hundred and ninety five point five. You read it from your graph. Now we look for the value which corresponds to twelve point five. and this is 12.5 which is right here that is where we will place our ruler we draw a line from 12.5 on cumulative frequency to meet our curve and then from the point of intersection we drop another line to check the value on the upper class limit so you drop a line and that gives us 505.5 5 .5. so 12.5 gives us 505.5 now to get the quartile deviation we take the value which corresponds to 37.5 minus the value which corresponds to 12.5 then we divide by 2 so we have 695.5 minus 505.5 divide by 2 and this gives us 95 so the quartile deviation is 95 we go to Roman 3 where we are told to estimate the percentage number of students who contributed at least 750 shillings so from our graph we are going to check the number which corresponds to 750.5 is the class limit so from 750.5 we draw a straight line to meet our graph then from the point of intersection we draw another line so we draw a line from the point of intersection 
and the value we are supposed to read is the value our line cuts the graph of the CF and that value is 42 so we have 50 minus 42 which is 8 and an accuracy allowance of 1 is allowed so we can use 9 divide by 50 then we multiply by 100 to make it percent and this gives us 18 percent.